how to solve this problem? You just see this problem here. When radium is converted into radon, alpha particle is released along with certain amount of heat energy that is 4.87 million electrons of heat energy is released. So here, this is called as alpha decay. This is called as alpha decay. Let me give one small example to understand this concept here. So whenever a parent nuclei having atomic number Z and mass number A gives rise to alpha particle, it is going to become a daughter nuclei whose atomic number reduces by two units and mass number reduces by four units. Along with alpha particle plus certain amount of heat energy is released. Certain amount of heat energy is released. Then, a small example related to that. Instead of this example, I'll take some other example. Like uranium 92 238 gives rise to thorium 90 plus certain amount of along with the alpha particle and certain amount of heat energy is released. So whenever alpha particle is released, we know that atomic number reduces by two units and mass number reduces by four units. And certain amount of heat energy is released because this is an exothermic reaction. This is an exothermic reaction. So in this reaction, 4.87 million electron volts of energy is released. And he's asking us to find out what is the kinetic energy of alpha particle. There is certain process to solve this problem. There is certain concept to be understood to solve this problem. What is this concept? Let us discuss here. So, here, the amount of heat energy released in the process is due to the kinetic energy of alpha particle and kinetic energy of daughter nuclei. This is parent and this is a daughter nuclei. Because of the kinetic energy of daughter and uh, alpha particle, will develop certain amount of heat energy which is going to be released. So therefore kinetic energy of alpha and kinetic energy of daughter nuclei is going to be the heat energy released here. In this process and that is going to be given already that is 4.87 million electron volts. We all know kinetic energy is nothing but half mv square multiply and divide with m. Then it is going to give you kinetic energy is nothing but m square v square by 2m. And this mv is nothing but momentum, p square by 2m. So kinetic energy is p square by 2m. As this is a process in which momentum is conserved, momentum before releasing alpha particle is exactly equal to momentum after releasing alpha particle. This is conservation of momentum. So therefore, momentum is conserved. It is going to be constant. Then the relation here you are going to get is kinetic energy is inversely proportional to mass. Kinetic energy is inversely proportional to mass. If it is so, then kinetic energy of daughter nuclei by kinetic energy of alpha particle is, as it is inversely related, mass of alpha particle by mass of daughter nuclei. So, as it is inversely related, kinetic energy is also inversely related with mass. You can say like that. Then if you add on both sides with 1, you will be getting kinetic energy of daughter plus kinetic energy of alpha by kinetic energy of alpha is equal to mass of alpha plus mass of daughter by mass of daughter. And I said this is Q. The heat energy release which is an exothermic reaction is because of the sum of daughter as well as alpha particle here. So you can take this as Q alpha mass of alpha plus mass of daughter by mass of daughter. And our aim is to find out what is the kinetic energy of alpha particle. Now, can't you find out the kinetic energy of alpha particle? It's very simple. Mass of daughter by mass of alpha plus mass of daughter into Q. So kinetic energy of alpha, mass of daughter is nothing but, it is triple 2. And mass of alpha, we all know it is 4. And mass of daughter is triple 2 again. The heat energy release in this process is 4.87 million electron volts. So after calculation, this one, if we're calculating, you will be getting 4.783 million electron volts of energy is released. In a calculator, if you calculate, you will be getting 4.783 million electron volts of energy is released, which is approximately taken as 4.78 million electron volts. So we, uh, we have got the kinetic energy of, we have got the kinetic energy of alpha particle. But can you find out the kinetic energy of daughter nuclei? Yeah, definitely you can find out the kinetic energy of daughter nuclei with the same process. You have to follow the same process. But here, kinetic energy of 
daughter is taken in the denominator and can it be the alpha in the numerator is inversely related to mass of daughter by mass of alpha as they are inversely related you write like this add one on both sides kinetic energy of alpha plus kinetic energy of daughter by kinetic energy of daughter is mass of daughter by mass of alpha by mass of alpha here so this is going to be q according to our assumption this is q and ky which is mass of y mass of alpha by mass of alpha so you can find out kinetic energy of daughter nuclei by the formula mass of alpha by mass of daughter mass of alpha into q it's very simple now mass of alpha is 4 mass of daughter is triple 2 plus 4 and the energy list is multiplied by 4.87 million electron volts you calculate and check what you're going to get so this is in million electron volts hope you have understood this topic if any topic to be explained you just comment below i will make you understand such an easy way thank you very much